Hey guys, before we get started, make sure you click that subscribe button, turn about post notifications, and give a huge thumbs up. Today, we are going to be playing some Adopt Me, because I'm going to be showing you guys how to get rich in Adopt Me. Yeah, that's right, guys. I'm going to be showing you guys how to get rich. And, yes, you could basically get rich in any different type of way. I'm in a private server. But yeah there is no hacks to this well i guess you could say them but they're they actually work so basically first we are going to be talking about houses so you kind of just want to buy a tiny home because it's everything you need you need a bed you need your pet stuff you need food you need a bathroom and you need a piano well you don't need it but yeah there's that is basically all you need for yeah so you spend really cheap on it for like a thousand dollars only and basically if you go to my homes and if you buy a house this house is literally 240 dollars and you could be spending a thousand dollars on just a house so yeah that is a really good example. Why? <coughs> and yeah, so next up, we're going to be talking about pets. For pets, obviously, you want to like, like make them into neons or mega neons if you have them. But basically, if you don't have enough pets, you need four pets that are fully grown. And right now, I'm trying to do my, my panda. I'm trying to make a neon panda, and basically, you have to do all of the tasks. Oh, no, I found it the wrong thing. Oh, no. Okay, so, yeah. You basically just kind of want to trade something. Like, if you only have one pet of something, like a cat or something, then you could literally just, like, trade it for a panda or something if you have three or two it doesn't matter and you obviously want to make them full grown to make them rich you kind of want to get neons to get rich sort of but i just fed this panda but <laughs> yeah so you kind of don't want to like waste all your money on buying pets and you don't know what you're gonna get but if you trade, like, let's join, uh, not a private server, but, like, if you just join a regular server, and you trade someone that you, like, a pet that you might want, then that's good. Or sometimes you just want to keep the eggs. Like, I keep the ocean egg and keep the boiler egg. You could just keep the eggs and yeah i just have this slime right here but yeah so let's go trade someone right now i'm gonna teleport to pest because that's the closest oh hi sammy let's go take oh sammy okay <laughs> sammy's literally so cute okay oh she just jumped up a bit. all right guys so basically yeah, you want to trade with people and see if this person, like, has, like, an avocado. You might want to trade it. Oh, it's right in trade, but maybe this person, because this person is, oh, trade. Sent, and you could basically maybe trade like this and a neon oh she declined but you could basically trade anything so let's see if that person you could trade oh hi sammy sammy's literally coming over to me okay let's okay let's trade this beaver <coughs> or oh no she declined she said no sorry wait let's try one more time i literally just want to try one more time oh she declined People are 
and sometimes after you're done and the server is like busy or something you could go into another server and try and trade your pets and next up is another hack which you could set up parties so basically to set up a party you go to your house oh this person got a long login streak you basically want to um go to your house so let's go rent my house but that's for robux you could just go back to your house and reset but we're just gonna move our house here and you basically want to press on your mailbox and press throw party no party but if your house is too small to host a party you might want to need like a bigger place but um yeah you're gonna want to do that and you could say like trading like you could get everyone's attention in the server and say like trading like trading dog for a cat that could work also but next up we're gonna be talking about wait i forgot okay i remember now so next okay we're just gonna run our house here next we're gonna be talking about task so basically obviously you have tasks to do above your thing obviously i have tasks right here and we need to do them so basically you want to yeah, you want to have lots of money, so you might want to, what is it do? You might want to turn it into a baby, because that will give me more money and more things to do. And you also might want to do these, because you, you get more money from them or stuff by them. Like this one, I'll get an RB Xbox, and I could also get $100 if I do these tasks. And obviously, you could just delete them. Like, if you buy a new house and you get 100 bucks, just delete the house after it's done. So, that's a really good hack to do. And you could also do all the tasks up there. And make sure you lock your house so no one else does it. But, yeah. And if it says to go to the playground, then... Oh, wait. Yeah. Then you can... You could literally... Okay, I need to take my pet. Okay, you can literally just go and buy a piano and edit house and then type in piano and then you should get your, yeah, you should get it. And yeah, guys, that is probably all the hacks today to get rich, guys. I hope you guys like this video. Click subscribe button, turn about post notifications, and yeah. But we have one more. We have to buy pets and eggs. So let's go ahead and, yeah. So obviously, if you don't have Robux, you could use that trading trick. You could, like, give away a Neon for a Robux pet if you don't obviously have Robux. <coughs> oh, wow. That... that Capricorn is so cute, but it's a lot of Robux. So someone could literally trade you a Capricorn from the trading section. And you could trade them a Neon, a Mega Neon. You could trade them anything that they want. But obviously, if you if they think, if you think you're too over, here is another trick you can do. So basically, you want to get out and type in on Google or Chrome. You could type in adopt me values. And basically what your trade is, you could literally look at adopt me trade values if you have another device. What is that drawing? <laughs> okay, so basically you could trade them like say if you're trading a Capricorn and it's just regular, just regular straight Capricorn. And this person literally just, like, just trades um, a neon something. Like, let's say this, and a fly and ride. Then, obviously, it has more value. But you could trade more stuff like this. And 
you can add one more like this because it's not that much value but it is a rare i think and you can make it a ride and obviously their value is your value is more oh i just dropped some onions but yeah guys that is all for today's video hope you guys liked today's video make sure you guys click subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next video goodbye